Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland coming to you from ITW 2021. Joining me today is John Falker, Marketing Director at Prime Data Centers. John, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you, Laura. Good to be here. Well, John, 2021 has been an exciting year for Prime Data Centers, and a lot of news is coming from your corner. First, though, for our viewers who may not know, if you could tell us more about Prime Data Centers and your partnership as a service model. Absolutely. Um, yeah, it has been a busy year um, in more ways than one. Uh, we are a wholesale data center developer and operator. So when we say wholesale, um, the, the definition in the industry varies anywhere from 100 kilowatts up to 500 kilowatts. We tend to say anything north of 500 kilowatts. So we focus on uh, larger enterprise clients across industries. And when we talk about partnership as a service, all that means really is that we focus on meeting our clients where they are. Um, we don't try to force fit them into a predefined operating model. We can be really quite flexible depending on the client's needs. And those can be IT needs, uh, real estate and facilities needs, financial needs. As we all know, data center decisions, data center development decisions are large strategic decisions that incorporate a lot of different decision makers across the enterprise, not just the CTO or CIO, but also the CFO um, and other departments as well. So we specialize in helping our clients think across all of those decision maker makers and, uh, and come up with a solution that really satisfies all of their needs. Well, this year, Prime Data Centers has announced significant partnerships and deals, including completing the pre-lease of Prime's nine megawatt data center that's currently under construction in Santa Clara, California with Sixterra. So with all that said, can you tell us more about that exciting deal and the latest developments? Yeah, I think our latest deal with Sixterra and Santa Clara is a perfect example of one of the customer segments that we really want to focus on, which is retail co-location providers. Sixterra is one of the largest retail colo providers in the United States, if not the world. And they have come to us uh, to pre-lease that entire nine megawatt facility in Santa Clara uh, so that they can focus on their core business and we can really help out with uh, what we are best at, which is that real estate development and, um, and operation. Well, John, Prime Data Centers also recently announced a strategic partnership with Macquarie Capital that has targeted capital investments in, in excess of $5 billion, billion dollars over the next 10 years. So tell us more about this strategic move and then what it means for the future of Prime Data Centers as you continue to expand to deliver those mission critical data center infrastructure uh, setups to enterprises and hyperscale companies? Yeah, the partnership with Macquarie is um, a big deal for us. It, it's going to unlock, it already has unlocked uh, a lot of capability and allow us to, to scale um, in really a step function. So we're excited about our partnership with Macquarie. They are one of the um, largest, I believe they are the largest infrastructure specific investment banks in the world. And so our partnership with them is going to help us. Firstly, I think because of their global reach, they're a truly global um, institution and they'll be able to open doors for us uh, all over the planet. Uh, and then secondly, in sourcing, uh, data center real estate development requires a lot of different parts. It requires land, obviously. It requires investors, uh, physical equipment. Um, and then it also requires solving really challenging infrastructure uh, problems. The, For example, we often refer to um, that one of the biggest challenges in data center development as sustainable resiliency, um, which is how do you make 
a data center as resilient as possible uh, while also making it as sustainable as possible. And to use a quick example, today, most backup power solutions for data centers involve fossil fuels. Uh, diesel is the primary one. We are working with Macquarie to figure out how do we come up with backup power solutions that are at least as reliable, but also have a much lower carbon footprint. Let's talk about Prime Data Center's expanding presence across Silicon Valley with a new nine megawatt data center in Santa Clara. Can you tell us more about this data center project? Yeah, we love Santa Clara for a number of reasons, um, not least of which is you've got high demand, you've got a large concentration of some of the world's most important uh, tech companies and other companies. Uh, and you've also got in Silicon Valley Power, the local power utility, you've got pretty, um, pretty sustainably generated, reliable, and relatively affordable electric power. So for all of those reasons, it's an attractive market for a developer like us. Uh, land is obviously very scarce and power entitlements are getting more and more scarce. So we are looking to continue to um, source those rare opportunities where you can get land and power entitlements to be able to bring the right solution to market. And yes, this most, re most recent project, Martin Avenue in, in Santa Clara, it, it, it was exactly that. And we're, we're quite excited. We're already having a number of pre-lease conversations for that facility. And we're quite bullish that 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 will find a new client quite soon. John, it's not even halfway through 2021. Lots of headlines from Prime data centers. Tell us where we can keep up with the latest news and information and all your latest projects. Absolutely. Yeah, we are active on our blog as well as social. And the best place to go to get connected to all of that is our website which is primedatacenters.com. You heard it from John, go check it out. Thank you so much for your time here today, John. Absolutely, thank you, Laura. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking.